Hello and welcome to MGP 289. I'm Kevin. With me as ever, this Sheepdog Anna and Pab. Say hello, boys and girls. Hello. Yo. Hello. And why is it already gone half past ten, you ridiculous people? We've been I've been sat at this desk for an hour waiting to start this podcast. Can somebody think... please explain to me what's <laughs> going on? I think you arrived with my my uh, video upload had five minutes left. Um, twenty five minutes later, it finished uploading, and then because I because, yeah because I said it had finished uploading, you all decided to go into different rooms and watch it, which is probably the most mortifying experience of my life. <laughs> hearing <laughs> hearing two people, I'm guessing because Pab listened to Anna listening to it, um, listen to me talk for. 15 minutes um oh that, that was horrible and i started to get motion sick i think my brain decided because i wasn't talking but it could hear me talking that i must be hallucinating and what is, wrong with, poison. What I've got, is like, wrong with you the thing is it's so prone uh, primed and ready to survive being poisoned that we all know that's how i'm going to end up being murdered now isn't it um you don't need your uh forensic uh csi degree and we know how it happened it was poison in the library with a candlestick so yeah um but yeah that's why we're so late because then once you watched it you reviewed it you commented on it um, <laughs> and then we spent half an hour chatting about our, uh, our, I don't even know what we were speaking about in the end. No, Comic a load of stuff that we could have, yeah, a load of stuff that probably would have been quite good content for this podcast that's now probably going to be about 12 minutes long as I rush <laughs> things through so that I can have a reasonably early night. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the latest episode in Sheepdog's cartoon life. He's decided that he's going to become a YouTuber because he thinks that's a real thing that people can do. Cartoon sheepdog strikes again. <laughs> I didn't even decide. Somebody just basically created a, an internet campaign and demanded it. And yeah, because you pushed me one step too far. We <laughs> we talked about it like this time last week. We then talked about it again in our Twitter chat that we have, and then. I don't even know how I ended up on your blog. Someone must have hacked me or something. But you started waffling on about it in your blog about how, oh, I want to do YouTube. If only I need to go away and think about it. I need to plan how I'm going to do it. You do not need to plan how you're going to do it. (laughs) You need to get a camera in front of your face and start flapping your gums. Put that on the internet and figure it out as you go. That's how it works. Videos, videos, videos. The only ones are supposed to be rubbish. That's how it works. And then here you are. Mr. Mr. Fully fledged YouTuber with his head in hands, thumbnails. <laughs> and <laughs> I love that because I honestly, I know we sort of discussed it a little bit and you can make your own thumbnails, but YouTube is brilliant at just finding the stupidest ones. Um, with your ones, I always add my own sound effects to them. It always looks like you're just kind of going. Thing. Um, and I used to just think you were doing it. But uh, when I look at the four videos I've got, there's one where I look like I'm just going, oh, and then the next one, I'm just furious because I'm still locked out. Um, there's one of me clutching the sides of my head. And then in this last one, I look like I'm just going, ah, um, it's with the subtitle recording a podcast. So <laughs> it makes it makes it look like it's torture. <laughs> oh, no, I've got to record a podcast. It just makes me wonder whether they have words. And facial expressions was tuned in somewhere because oh they do they um they, if if you talk if you say words in the content of your video and even if you don't put them in the metadata of the video itself you'll end up um coming up on search for it eventually it it wow. is it is there's proper magical analytical stuff going on under the hood all designed to get people watching the right videos so they spend as much time on YouTube as possible that's what it all comes down to. So they need to know what your video is about so that they can send the right people to you and send them to the right place after you. It's all very it's clever. Cool. What if I could start gaming it to do me some favours, like just type in, I don't know, handsome man, and then hopefully it'll just get me that exact angle where I'm at my best, even though it would still be like three out of ten. Um, I could be like, oh, that's a, I'll take that as a profile picture. I could be like, I don't know, passport photo, and it would just find the <laughs> find the angle. Job done. That saved me a fiver. I'm gonna I'm gonna play with that now. Um, it's interesting though. It just because I look at it, and I think I don't even remember in that video where both sides of my head. It's like I'm, I don't know. 
trying to send <laughs> thoughts to people. Um, I didn't know I ever did that. Well, apparently you do. I want to know who's holding your phone at that point as well. <laughs> it's my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> it's quite troubling. Um, I feel a bit dumb because I'm sat in front of my laptop at the moment thinking I could have recorded straight to iMovie on this. And because I know, why why are you always looking down in the videos? I'm like, well, an angle, but I should have just used the, the Mac, really. I'm, I'm, I, I just noticed there's a camera at the top of it. And I'm like, damn. I you dare really say that camera is pretty rubbish compared to the ones on your phone and your iPad. That would yeah, be my suppose, guess. yeah, the iPad's newer. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 the, the thing as well, when you were um, telling me to get on it and everything, I got my phone out and I, I'd sort of done a few test videos. There's all these little videos on my phone of me just going, test, <laughs> <laughs> to see how it sounded. Um, and then I was thinking, this is just too fiddly. I can't walk around holding this out. And then um, I just remembered I had an iPad. And I was so excited that I belted out a video then. I was just like on the the rush of realizing I had an iPad that I could finally use for something. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm away. I'm going to, I'm going to thank the iPad when I, when I'm doing my uh, YouTube acceptance speech, probably after 10 videos, um, I'm going to thank the good people of iPad Inc, not even Apple. Um, I'll, uh, I reckon it's all down to them. They made it happen. Splendid. Well, <laughs> now, now the uh, pressure transfers over to you, Pab. I've managed to bully. I've managed to bully him into joining my little club. Now I'm going to start bullying you. I want these conventions that we go to. I want them to be our opportunity for collaborations. I want us to be the version of uh, the UK version of the New York vlogging posse. I mm-hmm. want us to. I want, all the all the cool vloggers all hang out together, don't they? I right, want us to okay. be the cool the cool YouTube lot around these parts. Uh, I can't get our own little niche of old people who go to conventions and eat ice creams. Can um, we start yeah. doing collaboration songs? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I've got diss tracks ready for all of you, but it 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 feels cruel using them on you at the moment. I need you to. I need you to have the opportunity to fight back when the time comes. So the diss tracks are ready to go, but you need to you need to build your channels up so that you can throw them back at me, spit some mad beats back in my direction. Mate, I could battle rap you to death on the spot. Yeah, but you need the platform to put it on, which is why you needed a channel. Mm. Now you've got a channel. Once once you hit a thousand subscribers, my diss track drops, okay. and then oh. you can uh, you can you can diss track me back again we'll drag ourselves to the top pab will you beatbox my diss rap back um if you want yeah no, i've got to be a bit sure why not start practicing now plus on I, I, the other thing i want as well is somewhere anna still got the footage of you two staging a fight in a hotel car park <laughs> so once once you're both famous youtubers oh, once you're both famous youtubers i am so pulling that footage out and putting it everywhere so I need people to know your faces. You've got a video of me shouting death to the West with a TNT <laughs> on a detonator, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> like, I remember, What? why did we think that would be something you could hand in? We didn't. <laughs> you just, that, that was, that was ad libbed. <laughs> why was I holding TNT if that was ad libbed? No, because we had that pillow. <laughs> Yeah, but it was obviously handed to me for a reason. Yeah, you're the one who then made a detonator out of your phone charger <laughs> and started <laughs> pretending to be a terrorist. Oh, God. Um, okay. That was all you. It shouldn't be allowed on camera. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, Anna, you have still got that footage somewhere, haven't you? Oh, well, I don't know. Probably. Maybe. Good, because I'm going to need it. What, I the, think the, and... the whole point of building Sheepdog up and getting him a channel is so that I can just tear him back down <laughs> with one video. No, I, I'm pretty sure you probably went to one of those schools where you had to do stuff with pigs to have mutually assured destruction. So I reckon I'm probably safe. Ah, I've just unplugged my monitor. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, he's changing the topic. David Cameron over there. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, he said talk amongst ourselves, and I just went quiet because my mum. Um, yeah, no, I don't mind. It's I've not done anything naughty that would hurt me, as far as I'm aware. No, I'm I'm waiting for for Kev to 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 gif make that a gif form, and it'll go on the on the. Twitter channel at some point. Of I'm on it. You're having a fight. 
Yeah. <laughs> I like that'll, that. be how we, that'll be how we announce our next episode that is cancelled. Yeah. I like the, um, the the Kev part of that, where isn't it like Kev just looking to the left and then laughing at something and then it cuts and it's either me being a terrorist, <laughs> me and Pab fighting, or like it was just lots of different random things like that, wasn't it? Wasn't it, wasn't it just yeah. you standing there looking like casual and Kev's just smiling at you because he, he likes a bit of pub. Uh, <laughs> I feel a responsibility to find this video and put it up on yeah, the MGP I channel wasn't the one where I to accompany this screech. episode. There was one where you wanted me to, to screech off in my car for some reason as well. I can't remember that. <laughs> and I it can't was remember just, why. The whole, wasn't the whole point was just how you could frame a, a scene a certain way like yeah. Kev's reaction is the same every time, but what you cut to is the is what frames it. I remember there was some points. Oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. we filmed more scenes if we stood next to a bridge with a hole in my trousers <laughs> without, you, <laughs> without you two there. Don't you remember when we went to that bridge in Deeping and me and Amy had to walk across it in different ways, and I realised just before we started filming that I had a massive <laughs> crotch hole in my jeans and I had to wander across the bridge trying not to show my crotch dangles. <laughs> Uh, well, that's, that's all on film somewhere as well. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I miss you how, doing that course. How, <laughs> how are we all? Have we all had a good sheepdogs videos aside? Yeah. yeah. We're all happy. Yeah. We're all, we all, all excited. Yeah. We're all ready to talk about video games. Yeah, sure. Because I have played one. Okay. <laughs> Anna, what was it called? Uh, something to do with Trials and Dragon. Blood Trials of the Blood Dragon. Dragon. Trials of the Blood Dragon, okay. which is on Xbox Gold Games with yes. things or whatever it's called. It's something like that. It's a catchy yep. name. Um, I had to ask Anna how to turn the Xbox on, how to navigate the new menu system. Really? And how to play the game. It's that long since I've turned on a games console. I don't understand them anymore. When did they turn into such stupid interfaces? Yeah. Well... No, seriously. When did it happen? I don't, I don't, I don't know how to get around an Xbox One anymore, and uh, that that feels worrying to me. It feels like they've gone more like the PS4. I must say that I thought that recently. It's hard. I found the PS4 too hard to navigate. It was irritating, and now Microsoft seems to have gone down that route rather than keeping their nice, useful, easy navigation. <laughs> Um, it was silly, but Anna got me on the game eventually. Um, I always, I've always liked the Trials games. Trials games are awesome. Um, so got straight into it. It's got the whole Blood Dragon uh, graphical style thing. Yeah. So it's not as shiny and polished and pretty as a normal Trials game would be. But every yeah. now and again, they just throw some awesome graphics effects or the scenery changes or the, the gravity goes a bit screwy. And you realize, oh, OK, so this isn't just a PS2 game. It is a proper game. They're just deliberately making it look a little bit ropey because of the the style that's supposed to be behind it. It's a bit of a weird one, though, because it's a mix of, I would say I've played maybe the first 20 levels and perhaps 75% of it is normal trial style riding around on a motorbike. And those parts of it are absolutely brilliant. But it has to have the whole Blood Dragon stuff in there as well, which was, it was the Far Cry spinoff, wasn't it? The Blood Dragon Mm. thing. Um so yeah. 25% of it, you don't have a motorbike. You're just wandering mm, around yeah. platforming and shooting a gun. Yeah. And those bits are a big steaming pile of dog turd. They control horribly. The shooting's ridiculous. The, I mean, I've never known a set of controls quite so stupid for a platform game where you shoot with the right thumbstick. You have to use the left trigger to crouch. And, oh, it's just a, it, it's a, it's a mess. And not only is it a mess, but... It's it gets frustratingly difficult. It introduces boss battles. There's a put the point where I turned it off in a grump, and normally I turn trials games off in a grump when the tracks get too hard. But I was still really enjoying the motorbike part of it. But I had three levels in a row which were just stupid platforming with stupid shooting, and then ended with a stupid boss battle. And I I did this boss like ten times, kept dying, and thought, you know what? I'm not playing this for platforming, shooting and boss battles. You can bite me, be gone with you, and now I'll never play it again. But I had a fun hour and a half, and that was my gaming week. Mm-hmm. Good. That's good. Annie, you were asking us about a game beforehand. Um, oh, I've gone past that now. All right, what are you playing? 
Divinity Original Sin 2. Ah, right. I just wanted to start it again and just go through to explore a bit more. Even though I've put like 85 hours into it. 85? hours, yeah. Someone said to me earlier, what am I playing at the moment? South Park and that. And he goes, I'm thinking of getting that uh, Marvel 2. And I thought, that's been out, what? five six months so like i forget that people outside of like this sort of not that i'm exactly you know neck deep in the world um but i forget that to normal people that's probably quite recent but it reminded me that i have it um that i reviewed it for like what maybe one or two episodes and i never went back to it um but it is genuinely good so i touched on that a little bit um I need to I need to play it more with my kids and I think I said that before. Um and it's just like a fitting in when they're up and awake and not trying to eat their dinner and whatever is very hard. But uh I I think I played it probably more than Kev did the game he just spoke about, but I d I don't really know what to say to about it other than the fact it's another Lego game. It's it's awesome. It's like the first one. Um it's just got more characters in it. And it's, mm. yeah, I, I, it's it's hard to to go into too much detail because it's just it's just Lego Marvel superheroes, but um, for me that that and um, I I hate saying the word Pokemon. I've been playing Pokemon Ultra Moon. Um, that seems like a very upgraded version of Moon, um, which I thought was awesome in itself. Um, but they seem to have just added loads of new areas and people and bits to do. And so like my daughter's playing Pokemon sun while I'm playing Pokemon ultra moon at the moment. Um, and I, the difference between the two is really, really as I say, it's like night and day. And that wasn't really a part. I wish I said it now gutted. Um, but yeah, it's, it's impressive how much more they made of the game, considering it's on the same size little doodad that goes in the ds um they've added a ton of extra pokemon to it that look a bit weird i mean i know a lot of them look weird but these ones Mm. do just look odd um and i'm not far enough to have got them yet but someone sent me a picture the other day of the various ones in different sizes i don't know why they sent me it but anyway um i got very frustrated because they're all laid out in all to 800 and whatever and there's one in there that I just have never seen before and I can't find anywhere online a picture of it and I don't know what it was and I don't know whether it's in this game now and I just, I don't know why it's in the picture if it's not in this game because everything's in this game. This The reason why this game's so good is I think it's the most you can possibly catch out of any of the games ever. Um, I think there's only probably a couple that you can't get simply through it um but pretty much everything's there i think that to me signifies that they probably are just going to stop the whole handheld thing um and just go full on switch which i know they they we're, we already are kind of aware of that aren't we that they're bringing yes, up Pokemon they on bringing that. It, yeah. um but the fact the fact that they're essentially going yeah you can have a more which makes me concerned that i'll never be able to transfer those ones onto the switch i don't see how i would unless pokemon bank is on uh it's on the switch but um Probably. i guess i guess if i you know if i'm if 100 percent this then yeah uh, if if i can't transfer them i'll save them and i'll know that i could just tour of the history of pokemon um and then I'll do what I did with the last time. I, I pretty much 100%ed it. I sold it on Amazon for about 25 quid more than every other copy because I basically marketed the fact that I'd already completed it for the people that were buying it. Um, that sold so quick that I feel like there's a uh, there's a market there for already completed games if, uh, if they've got a new game plus mode or something like that. Um, I couldn't believe how quickly it sold, the fact that I'd caught them all already. Someone was like, right, yeah, I'll pay, I'll pay more for that. I put it as a collectible edition on, on Amazon. Um, and they they snapped it up, and I didn't get any, you know, ne- no negative. I'm not a monster. I just thought to myself, I wonder if anyone would be stupid enough to pay extra for a game that I've completed for them, and and somebody did. People are so stupid. It's weird, isn't it? I mean, I've had that that, and the only other time I've had a weird scenario, I didn't know how much it would cost to post a game worldwide so i put some stupid number in like 80 quid to post anywhere outside of the uk and then someone in norway bought this game off me for basically 30 quid plus the 80 quid postage and they paid the whole lot and gave me a good review and i just started thinking i should just start shipping games to norway 
<laughs> <laughs> it bit me in the backside when I did the same with America. Though. It actually was 80 quid to ship something to America. Um, and uh, I just cancelled the order and said, out of stock. Sorry, mate. <laughs> out of stock. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh, and I've got it. <laughs> You're the worst eBayer in the world. I'm not. I get A star ratings every time. A star, 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 star. You know, as many stars as you can fit. That's what they always put. I don't know what e- eBay's weird. I haven't used eBay for years. I don't really understand it. It frightens me a little bit. I'm too old, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, those two games are pretty much my week, other than just us town catching Pokemon with my son. Um, it's become a weird thing. I've started doing, like, I'll probably go out after the show and just drive around town for half an hour because um, one of the guys I play the game with in my little group has um, it's got this thing called Rocket Map, which I've basically got on my, I've got it actually on the screen on my laptop now while we're recording, and I can just see my entire hometown, and I can tell you every single Pokemon that spawned in our hometown, where it is and everything. Um like right down to the the longitude and latitude um and it's just brilliant i can just go oh i need one of them hop in the car drive across town catch it drive home which is why i can't do a pokemon go channel uh on youtube because that's literally what it would be it'd be me just going like to the batmobile and then going there tapping and driving back now if you actually had a batmobile then it would be an interesting channel if you slid down a fireman's pole and, got a batmobile <laughs> and then went and caught your pokemon in a big net you could make that into a channel still. You are making me wonder whether I should convert my uh, four Google Blastoise or something, or a Whalmer. It's practically a Whalmer already. Um, I just paint the bottom half of it white. This is interesting because I could just yeah drive through deep in, in a Whalmer. Well, there you go. Yeah. You can even venture further afield. Sometimes you don't have to stay within your house. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The um. The rocket map is only for deep in. Um, I have got a Peterborough rocket map, but annoyingly, there's this like no man's land in between where it's uncharted territory. No one's mapped it out. Um, well, so who, my... who is mapping this thing? I don't, how does this work? Um, I think what they've done, because what baffles me is people have paid money, I think, for having a system where there's like bot accounts that walk virtually walk around our town um and they will just see these pokemon and they will um i don't know it's just like they're dummy players that are wandering around whatever they well, see all appears the players are dummies i think that's clear uh, at this point um but what i don't get is how they then because they work out um how long's left on the spawn you know how strong it is um because it's added in a new weather feature i kind of know just by being you know knowledgeable of the game that it was raining and i instantly thought right there's rain that means this is going to have spawned and i looked on the map and there was like 10 of them so i just drove around catching them all up now i can remove them from my filter on the map because i don't need them anymore so i'm excluding everything i've got um there's only about 15 more i need to get before they release a new lot so uh i'm just if any of them appear i'm in the car i'm out to get them i want to catch them all I love it. I want to get a bike. That's my plan. I want to get a bike and start biking around town with it because then I'll lose so much weight and become ultra healthy and then I'll join the Olympics. Good luck to you. Yeah. I don't know if you, don't know if you join the Olympics. I'm not sure yeah. if that's quite how it works. Well, what do I do? Do I get invited to the I'm, Olympics? I'm, yeah, I'm, not, right? I'm, I'm not pretending I know the ins and outs of it. I've just never heard that turn of phrase before, joining the Olympics. I don't think they're like a club. What are they then? Like a, an organisation? Do I interview? Probably. I imagine I take a lot of drugs and pay them a lot of money seems to be how most of them get. Having asthma's the thing, isn't it? Basically, if I develop asthma, um, I'll probably meet him at the inhaler. I don't know if real asthma helps you out. I think you have to have fake asthma and a doctor's note saying you've got fake asthma. Hmm. I had asthma when I was seven. There you go. Could... Yeah, have some steroids. I've got restless leg because they they pumped me with steroids when I was seven. The moment I took a steroid, my leg started shaking, and it's been shaking for 25 years. I mean, that suggests you're probably still on the steroids. No. <laughs> that's, that's why you're such a hunk as well, I imagine. That is why I'm such a hunk. But, um, yeah, it's one of those... Oh, my legs are shaking as I speak. 
Um, perhaps, <clears throat> perhaps you're just itching for another dose of steroids. Perhaps you've <laughs> actually got a genuine reason to be taking steroids and you could be in the Olympics. Maybe. That'd be so cool. Just... You, you, that ship may have <laughs> sailed at this point. Now you're three I don't know. years old. No, because I could just like bike up and shoot clay pigeons. Yeah. I don't know that you, steroids is that helpful for clay pigeon shooting. It probably helped you. I can pull this trigger really hard. It made my legs shake too much. I'd never get the aim. Game. Um, I thought we were talking about video games. What went wrong there? I don't know. I never know. I don't know where that goes. It gets away from us very easily, doesn't it, these days? <laughs> um, Power Barana, talk to us about games. Um, I finished, well, I started and finished the game. Okay, um, go on. Started Wolfenstein. I finished it. Oh, you finished it? Go on, tell me. Yeah. Tell me what you thought. Um, it was a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like when, I, when I first played it, when I got it back in, October, November, I I got to the bit where it changed a little bit, and I couldn't yes. see, like, because I ended it there, and I was like, I don't know how this is going to play out, because I stopped it, because, well, okay, it's just going to show me, like, I don't know, something, but I stopped because people came home, and then I lost my saves, so I started it again, went through it over a weekend, I just, like, put everything into it. I was like, oh, okay. And now there's going to be a three. So that's the only way. Like, I don't want to spoil it for anyone because it is an incredible game. Like, yes, yes, it's Bethesda, but they they put a lot of work into it. They really did. Um, Mm -hmm. I, I didn't find any problems with it, any bugs with it. The only problem I had was navigating around the submarine that that you get Mm -hmm. at the end of the last game. I just got lost. I couldn't find certain areas that I needed to get to. But apart from that, um, it was a great game. And the the fact that you can play the levels and then go back to them levels at different times to do different... Because you, like, you finish the game and then the game, it puts you back in it. So yes. you can still play like levels. Maybe it's and like assassination the... missions, isn't there? Where you've got yeah. to kill a load of generals and you, you go and do them one at a time. Uh, and that's cool. So there's a, there's a lot in there. Like I went through, like, right, right, so I finished the game, but I still have like all these different things that I I could possibly do in the game. So that's um, I do have one of the DLCs. I got it when I got the game. Um, I okay. haven't been in there. I did go in there five minutes. Before I found it infuriating because I think I didn't quite know what 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 was meant what I was meant to be doing. Um, it was just like right. a stealthy mission. I was just like, why? But um, I don't know. I'll probably go into that when I've got more time. But I just wanted to finish that game and get it out of the way because I yes. do like them games. I just I lost my save. And then you know, when you lose a lot of oh, yeah. a time, you're just like, oh, it's yeah. yeah. It just tarnished it and you're just like, I don't want to do this again. It's not happening. That is it. If I lost a save on a game that I, I know that it was gruel to get to a certain point and I lost it, I would be like, that's it. I'm done. No, not again. But I'm glad you did it, Anna. I'm glad you did it because that story is worth it. Yeah, uh, Did you have any... Towards the end of that game, at least three occasions, I just stood up with my mouth just wide open, just like, <laughs> what? What? Just What? Yeah, just stunned. It, I, yeah. I thought this recently. If one game I could wipe my, the memory of me playing a game and just play it all, experience it all over again, it would be Wolfenstein Two. Wow, Cause that has some real, just it, yeah, jaw dropping moments. The the ending yes was spectacular. It was like, oh my god! Like, did you watch all the credits and the yes. scenes <clears> in that? That they were they were a bit weird. I was like, what? like, and it made me laugh. And then we go, yeah, like, come on. But um, <laughs> it's a bit weird. And the music at the end was so violent. Oh, it's 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 one of the worst ending credit end credit yeah. songs. It's so inappropriate. I've ever, I've never come across this. No, like, I didn't. It's I didn't so like that. It's so the game itself. It's just like what? No, the end towards the end. Then this is a minus of spoilers. It <laughs> might have been very vague here. Yeah. Did you understand why why she lost the top? No. 
I, I was <laughs> I only, no idea. I only found out later on that it, because it was covered in gasoline or something like that and it caught on fire. Uh... I just thought I just thought she just went. I'm taking my top off. No, wait, Kevin, look. It's because you're like, northern. What is happening? It was, it was just really weird. Yeah. It was, it was, that was, I was like, what? But is it was going really on? powerful as well, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But like, I was like, what she was saying. I, I didn't notice that it had caught fire and she just did it. <laughs> I thought she just did it because she did uh, crazy. But yeah, yeah that, that was, that was oh, funny. Yeah. Um, so good. Yeah, good game. Definitely worth playing if if you haven't and it's dirt cheap now it's really cheap i know that's such like good because more people play but it's such a shame that it the games at the moment are just dropping their prices so quick that it's it's Mm -hmm. i don't know it's the modern because like the only thing i know that keeps their price is uh nintendo games pretty much pretty much everything else just like it's been out a couple Months and then it just drops in price. Like I see, like I know Fallout's nearly two and a half years old, but I see it for like seven pounds. And like, I'm like seven quid. Like you could. Yeah, but at this, at this stage, remember that it doesn't cost them anything to just keep. I was going to say games. It's just bonus seven quid at this point. Wh- whose tactic makes more sense? Nintendo, who are kind of. I don't know, they're not that well off, are they, really? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they extremely claim well not off. to be. They claim not to be well off. Do they you are mean? extremely well off. Um, uh, well, I don't know where whether I'm coming or going with that then, because one minute I'm saying, why don't they do this? And everyone's like, oh, they skin. And then it's like, well, these companies bring out their games at full price, and then they tweak it and tweak it and tweak it, whereas Nintendo just kind of go, that's the price, take it or leave it. Um, and and it stays that way forever, and they're not that well widespread, are they? They're not. It's like they're, you know, you think they'd want bums on seats if they focused on bums on seats over over money for per sale. Then surely they, even if they made the same amount, it's better to have a, a we in every household. Um, you know, and every game. It's always been your motto. It's better to have a in every household. <laughs> Usually in your downstairs cupboard, Kev. Uh. Um, but I'm coming out of all of the, the puns today without realising as well, because I hadn't even noticed I said that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's it just baffles me that Bethesda are thinking, like you say, it's a bonus seven quid. Nobody was going to buy that game for full price two years on, whereas Nintendo are like... Do you want to buy, um, I don't know, Mario Sunshine? That'll be seventy-five pound, please. Um, and you're like, what the hell's wrong with you? If you try and buy any, again, I don't want to keep bleating on Pokemon, but if you want to buy any of the old games on that, they're all pretty much full price. Um, and I guess that's a little bit because you can move things on from them, but it's because it's also part of that Nintendo thing where they just don't devalue. Um, I imagine Nintendo games are probably up there with some of the best things to collect if you want to kind of maintain your investment. They must be, mustn't they? Probably. Probably. Anyway. That's, that's a long silence. What just happened there? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was pondering how they benefit from that. I, sorry. I don't well, know. I was, I was reading, I'm still I'm doing trace and contact evidence. So I was reading a, a line. Um, so yeah, what what sheepdog said. Um, <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't really listening. I apologize. That's all right. What else? Sorry, I'm used to I it. Play? Um... Can I just point out? She delayed the podcast for 15 minutes so she could listen to you do a video. But now she's actually <laughs> doing the podcast. <laughs> you, know, you know how you have to reference, right? I was going. Oh, I've missed a reference off it. I I should put that in. So I was making sure I was looking in the right place because I, I would completely forget and then it get pulled up and I just can't be doing with that hassle. What would the PlayStation get? Oh my god, yes. PlayStation uh play, yeah, PlayStation Plus. So yes. I got I got what's the game called? I forget. Um Bloodborne and Oh Ratchet yes. Clank, is it? So I got so Ratchet and Clank played it, still got it. Yeah. I I got Bloodborne and I thought, yes. okay, come on. I I'll try this. I, I like okay. a bit of scary and i got to the second light thing that you that you light up yes yes and that was it yeah 
You're not that's going all. I could not get any further than that. I kept, I got up there because it was outside like a man that was talking to me. And then yeah. I went down some steps and this one jumped out at me. I killed him. I killed the other two. And then there was some steps and a bunch of them walked past you. Yes. All yes. right. So I let them walk past me, and then I went down the steps, and I went back on my. So I went down instead yes. of up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this other thing, cr- this other like man person crashed out. It was like a big burly guy, and he took me out three times. So I thought I'm yes. going to go down there. So I went the other way, and I, yeah. I Lots got some. There. Yeah, I got some Molotov. Molotov. Is that what they're called? Yeah, Molotov cocktails. Yeah, I got some of them and I hit them with them and then they they killed me. So I went back again. I didn't have any of them. And I let them go all the way down to the bottom. There were some side steps. So I went up there. Another guy jumped out at me. Yeah, that she was did. scary. <laughs> and then I went a bit back, a bit more up and there was another guy up some steps. And I killed him but because I hit him. The people at the bottom heard and they all came up and then they all killed me. And I went, nope, not doing it anymore. I turned it off. Yep, yep. That's no, a... thank you. That game annoyed me. Like, yep. I know it's about, like, getting out of the way, but they all, That's when they all game, come, yeah. come, come, come at you, and I'm still trying to learn, like, the controls, no, I was just like, no, I cannot be bothered with you. But, like, the game's lovely, because I've watched it, I've watched it been played from the finish. Yeah. I loved it. I thought it was great. And I thought, I'll have a go. It's free. No. Mm-mm. So whoever going to play that now, enjoy, because I will not be joining you. <laughs> and then I played some of the Blood Dragon thing today. The, I was playing it, and then Kev took the controller off me and yep. told me he was playing it. Mm-hmm. So I played, because I, what, what I did was, basically, you go, it's like 90s themed, I think. Ages. And like, when you're in the hub area, the mm-hmm. way you get into the games is via the posters. Yeah, so I yeah. went into the first one and I did them, I think it was like four or five levels. And then I came out and um, I, I was doing something, I think my phone went, and I missed these other things showing me what's next. So I went from level one to, it must be one to seven. And then because, <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sure. But anyway, I went from the first section. I went to my second section, but and because I missed that bit, I went to the higher difficulty ones. So the ones I was supposed to go to, I did third. So I messed up somewhere. But some of them levels are mental. Like they actually, mm-hmm. some of them made me feel sick. The way they were turning around in the world, I just, I, it doesn't fathom in my brain why I'm going forward, but I'm going down, but I'm also going around. It's like no, 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 weird. Um. But that that's that's it. Like it's a bit quiet in the game world except for the plus games. Um and it's what, the ninth yes. of March. So what uh, that's I don't know, less than twenty days to um Far Cry five. Um just on Far Cry five, I have just before we came down to do this. I did watch Far Cry 5 Inside Eden's Gate on Amazon, which is a half an hour real okay. life um like episode giving you like an insight of what Eden Eden's Gate is and a bit about the leaders and, and what they do. So that was quite good. That's on Amazon Prime. Okay. Um, just pop it in and it's up it's like this boy and these two girls who do a, a Blog, and they go around investigating things, and they got a letter from this guy about his sister, and they go and investigate, and they go to a sermon that he was doing, and then it goes on there that this man is just a bit doolally in the head and thinks different things. And so, so that was that was just I didn't know about it until I was there, so I was like, because they did this for division. Before Division came yeah, they out, did, they, they, they yeah. did something. I, I, I watched that and I enjoyed it because it's like it just gives you an insight and some backstory of what is in store. And I know Far Cry is about just doing what you please, really. But I, I, like, I want to do this setting. Like, Tropical Islands are all right, but this... Not more home... It's more like a... 
I'm not where I'd I wouldn't want to go to a tropical island because that doesn't interest me. But then, like Montana, does interest me. So, yeah, I'm I'm excited for that in a few weeks. Yeah, and then the fact that other games have now been like announced, like State of Decay Two mm-hmm. and um, God of War and mm. Get Out. It's like oh, it's like getting exciting. It's I like the fact that now it's like early in the year and we're getting good games that we're not having to wait till like October, November, December. Like, yes, I know why they bring the games up then. Bring them out now because like this time, because now and like in May, on on May the 2nd, I have five months of doing nothing. I'm just going to be at home. I have no uni. I'll have no assignments and I'll just have time to put into games and just Start a YouTube channel. I don't want to start a YouTube channel. I see That's what Sheepdog it. kept saying. Yeah, but the thing is, I see <laughs> the amount of time you put in it, and I just cannot be bothered. Oh, you don't have to do it to the extent I do it. I'm not right. I'm a bit. I'm a bit of a mm. weirdo. But I'd rather just sit there in my pajamas and play God of War. I don't want to make a YouTube channel. I'm already on yours. Yeah. So why would I want to do more? No one is going to watch me again. Oh, yeah, God of War. You play as a God of War. Bet they would. I bet if you but, started um, streaming this stuff, you would be. I ain't got time to Queen of the Internet. Who's here and and holidays and people like you can't play them games with children around. No, <laughs> I'm all right. I'd rather just sit there, hair up, no makeup, pajamas. But then I don't want to be these low cut tops. Makeup and uh, <laughs> just cannot be bothered with them people. <clears throat> like I see them on YouTube, I'm like I'm not YouTube on Twitch. I'm like, no, like I want to watch the game, but I'm not watching. You've got your boobs out and hair. Oh, I'll put a top on in future. Sorry, <laughs> I ain't got time for them kind of people. But yeah, it's what well, it's March. We've got some good months ahead of us. Yay, for games! But that that's been my. Not exciting. Splendid. Has oh. Pab had his go yet? No, he hasn't. No, I'll quickly go through what I've got because I've not got a great deal going on. Um, I went back to Dance Hall 3 last weekend. After saying la- on last week's show that I, I just kind of stopped and got to a point um, where I just died and I was like, you know what, I can't be bothered anymore. Um, last Saturday, I think, I just got it in my head. I was like, I want to get my souls back. So I went and got them back. I went and got them back. I did about an hour or two, maybe. Um, got to another bonfire. Got to a boss door and went, I'm not going in that boss fight. I'm not boss fighting. <laughs> not boss fighting. Uh, just got all my souls back. Um, so I'll pluck up the courage and go back to it at some point. Um, what else have I played? Um, Monster Hunter update this week. Um, I finally hit high rank. I am there. I'm at, I'm at high rank. Um, yeah. So that means all the monsters are suddenly a lot more difficult to to fight. Uh, they have a lot more stamina and do a lot more damage, um, which means my low level weak armor is bobbins, and I pretty <laughs> much get one shot every time anything gets near me. Um, which means I had to have someone g- give me a talking to and telling me I need to go and craft some better gear. So I had to go and spend a lot of points and stuff to go and build some better gear. Um, so I've got some better gear um, and I've started tinkering with the bow and arrow which just simply because I was I was doing these fights in this game and I was I was I tend to tend to pair up with people in the game because because it's easier that way basically um, it's much more fun that way and what I find myself doing is I just sort of stand in the corner while they beat the hell out of the monster. I just watch from the distance and don't really do much damage. So I thought, you know what, I should just see if I can get a, a ranged attack going. So I've decided to go bow and arrow for a bit, and we'll see where we go with that. Because I'm, I'm hoping it'll, it'll at least help the people I'm playing with rather than me just stood in corner going, yeah, go and get him. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping to do that. Um, I've d- I say that I've got enough of the um, Aloy tokens now to craft the Aloy gear, the armor oh, set. Cool. 
Um, I need pelts now. I need uh, animal. I need certain monster pelts to actually craft the armor now. So I've got to do that. Uh, I need a, a Anjanath gem as well, which has a four percent drop rate apparently for a month from from these monsters. Wow! So it's going to be a pain in the backside to get, um, but I've got the main thing that is what is needed to craft the item, which is part of the quest, which runs out soon. So I've got, I think they they are Nora Brave tokens or something like that. Mm-hmm. That sounds about right. Um, and I, you needed four of them, and it I got three in one drop, and then did it again and got another one. So I've got four of them going. Um, and what else have I played? Oh, the main thing that's taken up my week. I don't know why. Have you heard of uh, Trouble in Terrorist Town? No. You've seen this. Have you heard of this? It's a no. big YouTube thing. It's a big thing on YouTube these days. The kids love it. I've never heard um, of it. <laughs> um, it's a Gary's Mod thing. Um, where you have a group of people on a server, on like a level, and you're all terrorists. You're all just characters. And one of you, one of them, or a number of them, is, is a traitor. And the, nobody knows who anybody is. So you've got you've got these guns, and you, the traitor has got to kill everybody else, and everybody else has got to figure out who the traitor is and kill them before he kills before the traitor kills them. Um, and on our Discord channel that that I that I frequent, he uh, we started playing this game. Someone said, "Oh, I've watched this video on YouTube. It's really, it's really good. Let's do it." So we did. So we have been testing all different levels, different weapons, different skins, different different like game modes and types of things like that to the point where it is it is serviceable now and we have spent most of the week just playing uh gary's mod trouble in terrorist town and it is great fun it is really good fun i it, like i say I, I, I do watch these youtube videos occasionally where they play trouble in terrorist town because it's just funny it's just a fun game where people are going i'm innocent i'm innocent i'm, I'm innocent and then everyone's just claiming to be innocent but there's, there's a traitor in one of them there's one of them's a traitor and at some point they have got to make a move because they've only got a time limit as well. They've got like four minutes to to make a move, so that's what's happening. Um, and like I say, it's just it's just a lot of fun to play with friends. If you've got like a group of people, big group of people playing, I think there's like five or six of us at one point playing it all at once, and it's and it's fun. It's it is really fun. And like I said, the workshop for Gary's mod is insane. The amount of like you know all the stuff that goes into it, and I think there was like. I think the the guy who put it up was like there was put 494 different maps on. It's like it's, it's just an endless like run of maps that you'll never get through. We'll never get through them. Um, but it's just a fun game. I enjoy playing it. It's a good thing just to play, mess around with on online. Just have an evening when you want to chill out. Um, so that's been taking up most of my week really because I've been kind of testing it out and just sort of just tinkering sort of thing, tinkering with Gary's mod. Which is dangerous. Um, so that's been my week, really. Splendid. Um, so I suppose we need to move on to movies and TV and all that other stuff. And uh, me and Anna have watched a movie and a half this week. Um, Did after we? a movie and a half. half. Yeah. Well, I've watched a movie and a half. You've watched about half a movie, I think. We bought the <laughs> DVD I for Doctor. We bought the DVDs for Doctor Strange and Thor Ragnarok. Yes. Watched all of Doctor Strange. Yes, I think I've think? seen about three quarters of Thor Ragnarok, but then fell asleep. Anna fell asleep at the start of that one, so uh, we've right. not yet seen the end of that. I mean, I can work out how it ends. I mean, it's... I'm not a two film lady, though, Kevin. No, well, we only really have one night a week with ability, <laughs> so we will try again tomorrow to watch Thor Ragnarok. Uh, but Doctor Strange, I thought was really good. Really enjoyed it. Yes. Yeah, I was very pleased. Um, did you not like it, Anna? I didn't. Like it. I didn't... The start was fine, but then it just got a bit samey, and I was just like, "Oh, they're just doing." Hang- they're, they're just- it looked like they were sign language, sign language into each other, and I just got a bit <laughs> bored of that. I'm just like, with sparklers as well. It's just like, kind of hmm. bothered, and I did fall asleep. But it had come back in, so it, it it gets a couple of marks for that. Doing the worst American accent since it's House. Really bad. It is really bad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It reminds so me of House too. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect connection. But no, the film was uh, the film was rather good. Um, for the the first half of Thor Ragnarok was a bit of a surprise. 
not yeah. storyline wise, but just tonally the way it goes. Yeah, just they've kind of completely changed the character and all the other characters that are in it and it's made it a film, gigalophon. Yeah. yeah, and presumably when they're back in the Avengers th- film in a few weeks, they'll be serious again. And it just seems a little bit. I know you can get away with doing this in the comics, but I don't know. This is supposed to be a film series and Bruce Banner in particular, he wasn't Bruce Banner. He was, he was a comic foil and I didn't care for it, but I mean, I'm sure it's fine and all resolves itself delightfully. Um, I am reviewing it based on watching half of it, but I just didn't like the fact that I didn't, I didn't recognize the characters as the characters that I've got used to over the course of, three or four movies i thought um thor was pretty much the same as always it, i get what you're saying about Hulk. um bruce um it's british banner isn't it yes yeah um i thought i said the wrong name then um he i did again i thought he was pretty much the same as tiny you know bitch basically um I don't like having this amazing power that lets me become super strong. It's not, it, it hurts people. Um, it's like, all right, Rex, just, you're, you're a mug. Oh, he's gone green again. Brilliant. The cool dude is back. Um, that's how he should be treated because he's just a whiny little nerd. Um, and the Hulk, you must have liked the Hulk in this film, surely. Yeah, it was fine. It was yeah. just, it was, the film itself was fine. As a standalone film, it was fine. <clears throat> I don't know that it fits into the characters that they've been building over the course of 10 years. That's the bit that is a bit jarring. But Thor and Hulk, I mean, in the Avengers film, they had all the comedy, didn't they? You know, They had Hulk little gags here and there, but this was a full-on comedy film. It was, You've not seen it all, yeah, have you? I suppose there's more. Yeah, there is. It, it, kind, it, kind of, it kind of veers more towards action towards the end, I would say. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's just all the. Nice, I would have said. Yeah, I I I came out of it. Fe- I, I know what you're saying. Definitely, I think midway through, I was getting to the point where I was thinking, "Well, hang on." Like the the thing that was because re- the Thor films were my favourite ones. Uh, really, I think uh, originally the, the first two are awesome, um, and I just like all the mythology and all the um, you know the fact that they've got this serious like war that they're involved in that. It's way bigger than anything the Avengers are doing, but equally it's all intertwined. And then this this was a bit like, yeah, the first hour or so is like all basically World War Hulk stuff, isn't it? And um, Planet Hulk, whatever the first one is, sorry, Planet Hulk. Um, yeah, and, and I think once it goes back to being a Thor film, um, it does all that still, but it's just, it's 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 a side effect of Guardians of the Galaxy doing so well. I think. Yes essentially um i definitely came out of that film thinking it's probably my favorite one of all the avengers films though mm-hmm. yeah i wouldn't disagree with it. I, I enjoyed it i like the tone tone shift that's yeah that's honestly I'd, I'd say in my opinion rock guardians of the galaxy one and then i don't know we were, i was actually having this conversation today and we were saying i don't know what my third film would be because it's it just depends on what mood I'm in, I suppose, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Thor Ragnarok Guardians one, and I think that's a good sign considering that's one of the most recent ones out. Um, I'm still so nervous about what they're going to do for Infinity War, though. I just because because the comic, and I know we've discussed this before, but I personally, I think that comic ends so badly, it's got such a poor resolution. I just hope the film comes up with something better, hopefully. <laughs> And I don't Who know knows. they will. Yeah, mm. I don't know what to expect. Okay, so um, two questions for you, Kev. Mm. Did you did you spot Matt Damon? Yeah, yeah. I was I was I was surprised when I saw. It. I was like, is that Matt Damon? I was quite good. I like Matt Damon in it. And um, what did you think of Korg? I thought it was awesome. The Rock fellow is great, isn't he? I think the Rock yeah, fellow is one of, favorite, one of the favorite bits of that film. Oh, he made yeah, me so many times. Very cool. Yeah, he is he a comic character or has he just been written? What do you mean? I don't, oh, remember I don't know. I've never heard of him. He's probably just yeah. been written in for the film. His accent just perfect. Um, again, though, he, 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 is he really? Yeah, I feel like he. 
I, I, I sort of trailed off because I suddenly thought I don't want to say anything to affect Kev's enjoyment of the rest of the film. I just was wondering about characters like that moving forward. Um, I suppose there's lots of background. I mean, I again, I don't mean to go drag it back to what I said a minute ago about the next film, but there's so many people that need to be in this or should be in this or could be in this or are are there and they're about to, and, and also, I mean, I was watching something earlier and it had, uh, what's her name? Gwyneth Paltrow, is it? Um, yeah. And, and I'm thinking like, she's, she's, she is a proper character. She's been in most, you know, many of the films, but I'm like, why, why is she in the promos? This is, you know what I mean? It's almost like, how much of a part can she play when there's 80 odd characters that got to fit in? Um, but she seems like she's going to be. I mean, unless they're just going to kill her off, and that's yeah, going to be part that, of man. Iron Man's like, um, I was going to say reason for getting involved. But obviously, it, the 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 world, the galaxy is is in peril, so he has to be involved. But um, I think it seems a bit weak if they just go, "Oh yeah, he's he's extra invested because his missus is dead." It's like well, you don't really need to do that. So um, have we got any more movies or TV shows? Yes, I've got one. Go on then. Um, Jessica Jones season two came out yesterday, I think. Thursday. Is it funny. any good? Because I'm just not only, really up I've for only, it. I've only watched the first episode, and I've only really watched Jessica Jones out of these series. I've watched a bit of the um, the Luke Cage one and the. And I watched the Def- is it Defenders? Mm-hmm. It was on last year. I watched the Defenders. God, you and I... Really handled that badly. You realise just them all before you watch the Defenders. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I just I just watched the recap because I, I was like, I, you know what, I can't be bothered. Yeah, I really can't be bothered. I just watched the recap, and Jessica Jones was the best one of all of them last mm-hmm. time round. And based on the first episode that, that I saw, it was a good episode for me. Um, it focuses on the demons that are in that she carries with her it, you know sense of she she doesn't want to be seen as a killer but she 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 knows she killed someone sort of thing at the end of the last season um and like I say she's just fighting them demons in this episode and it's it's a really good I just, I really like this series and I was open to I was thought can I can I get this finished by tomorrow I was like no this isn't happening this isn't happening hmm. um so I'll probably try and finish it for next week. Um, but it's a good start. It's a good start to the season. Um, it's a very good episode, uh, one of season two. I'm genuinely shocked that when I watched her, the, uh, you know, her season one, I felt like nothing would ever make me not want to watch these programs. I thought that was it. Mm. I was like hooked. And then I yeah. thought Luke Cage was okay. And, and I thought Iron Fist was okay. Um, but, I just, I'm not interested. I just, Momentum. yeah, I just can't be bothered. And I think a little bit of me is bothered because I don't know whether I just misunderstood or whether I got carried away or whether, I don't know, but the whole cinematic universe, Marvel, yes. far reaching thing, I think I just expected them to at some point have a little kind of hello in the in the final big come together um and i think i know it's impossible for them to do it and again i've said this twice now tonight but um i genuinely believed that they would all be involved in some small way and that shield would be involved in some small way and i genuinely thought the point of this whole cinematic universe and and Infinity War was that it was kind of going to go from Ant Man's level all the way up to Guardians of the Galaxy level, and they were part of that whole entire universe. And the fact that they don't appear to be involved in it at all, and Shield aren't involved in it at all, um, has kind of killed the Marvel bit. For I, I love Shield. Shield's like so good. And I said that last week. It's so good this season, um, but. I just feel a bit miffed that they're not involving the defenders in in Infinity War, but then I guess they were never really involved in in the uh, in the comics particularly well. They were not, not in just Infinity War, but in general, they're not buddies with Iron Man and all that. Are they? They're just people who kind of their own thing, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they're just basically 
powered cops in that world, aren't they? Essentially. Hmm. But yeah, I, I I assumed I think that they were probably going to have some kind of gem that one of them might come across uh, with the hand or whatever. I just I made up my own story as I often do. Splendid, Anna. Have you got any movies or TVs this TVs TV this week? No, I haven't oh. really watched any. Um, I've not watched anything. I'll, watch. I'll, allow, I'll allow the answer to be no. Have you no. finished Weeds yet? No. Weeds. I'm on. Um, Kevin's not in there, and I don't get to watch it as much. I think I'm near the end of season three. Um, the kid is being weird, seeing his dead dad, <laughs> and it's just kind of. I mean, the, the program's mental. Never goes where I'm expecting it to go, ever. I like it. It's good. Yeah, you've already covered it, but I keep recommending it to people who haven't seen it. Which is good. good. It is good. Mm. Um, right, well, I guess that makes it comics o'clock then. Anna, have you read any comics this week you'd like to discuss with us? Uh, no, I'm going to go. Aww. Well, no, okay, I'll stay and listen. But no, hey. I have <laughs> And I don't care to. Though I did see the little nightmares while I was in, I thought, I ain't got time. So. I bought you that as both a single issue and a hardback trade. Right. But that doesn't mean anything to me. It's like, okay. It means I bought it for you twice and you didn't read either of them. <laughs> I was just thinking yeah. that when you said, it doesn't mean anything. I'm thinking. Yeah. Um... Right. What have you, crazy kids? I don't think I've read anything this week. I've been a busy boy. So I'll I'll throw the floor to you two. I've actually just been reading Batman all week because um, I remembered that I hadn't read it for a while and Zatanna is in it. Really? And, um, yeah. Cool. Um, and I like her. I mean, I yeah. only really knew of her from some of the older comics and um, and DC Legends the game because um, she's basically the, the only – well, she was the only healer in the game, so you always had to have her in your team. Um, and, you know – she was calling that, but um, I mean, that's she was in it from like number sixty five ish in the in the run, and I think it's probably gone like th- I, I realized I was a good twenty or thirty comics behind on Batman, maybe not that many, but it was a lot. Um, and I, I thought I'm reading Dark Metal. I should really go back and read more of that while there's a gap. Um, but no, it is really good, and um, it's. The Batman comic these days is nothing like what I uh, I don't know maybe what, I don't know what my expectations were exactly but it it's it's very different from how I imagined it it would be or how it's always been in in the olden times um I don't really know what I mean by that but it is just a bit different I don't know it's odd I think it's odd because he's working with play with his team members and he's got he's up all these other people he works with beyond just Robin and and you know, there's there's a lot more to it, and I don't know if it's been like that for that long. Maybe I'm just I've only read a few old stories of Batman, but this all just seems a bit new to me still. Which one are you reading? Uh, are you reading I think Tom it's Tom King one, or are you reading the the Detective Comics? I think it must be Detective Comics, but then that, that's confusing me as well because sometimes I read All Star Batman or just Batman, yeah. and Clayface and that are in that, and it's like. Just pick which one this is in. It's like he's in all of them. Um, I, we've discussed that before. It does just confuse. Sometimes they decide to reference it. Sometimes they don't. Um, it's like in Superman at the moment, they keep deciding that action comic a- and Superman are and aren't involved at the same time. And it's like, well, is it or isn't it? What's going on? Explain. Hmm. Well, they they haven't explained, so there. There is a point where they in Superman. I don't know. If you've read it, but there is a point in Superman where is it? Uh, I think it's Mixus Pickelix or whatever his name is. I can't say it. Um, basically, m- helps merge all of Superman's past and present and variations all into one Superman, and now he's all Superman's. And his history is aligned now, which I thought was a funny way of uh, basically going, yep, yeah, we know we've been rattling all over the show. 
and we just need to come up with a definitive history and they made some line i can't remember the exact line they used but it was something like all of them even if they're actually parallel or even if they contradict each other they're all somehow relevant and real um which is their way of saying we'll reference it when we damn well want your nerds now stop bitching um <laughs> Which, yeah, it works for me. Um, he's a fifth dimensional being. He's basically tied all these different versions together. It's, uh, yeah, it's Superman now. Deal with it. <laughs> um, yeah, you lot talk amongst yourselves. I've got breaking news to. You got what, sorry? Some breaking news that I've got to attend to. <laughs> all right, I've just, okay. I've just, seen, I've just seen a news report that all the... All the US Toys R Us stores are closing next week, oh, yeah. apparently. They've gone out of business there as well, yeah. which considering I've put out a video today that is last ever Toys R Us toy hunt going out of business, I'm thinking, right, I need to make sure my SEO is spot on on this <laughs> bad boy because that video came out at roughly the same time that news has broken on CNN. Mm. So I need to uh, make sure that my SEO is ready to jump on that. I always feel bad. Um going into shops as they're shutting down because I mean, you, you're mad not to because it's all really cheap and so on. So, but you're also picking at the bones of somebody's livelihood. But um, I did message Kev the other day saying their pop vinyls were down to four pound, um, which I know that kind of the fads moving on. And I mean, maybe not for Kev. I know his background in his videos is, is rammed with them, but Sending in there, I was looking at the Rick and Morty ones thinking I could have Rick and Morty for you a You say the fad's over. We were in there yesterday. The only two things that were completely sold out were pop vinyls and Lego. Everything else wow. was still on the shelves. But there was wow. like four pop vinyls left in the whole store and maybe a couple of boxes of Lego. See, I, I, I don't... I, I felt like the stalls at events were getting smaller and I haven't really seen any new... any new... Uh, What's the word? Like any new things that are being made, but then what new things have come out that are? There's new ones coming out all the time. Like yeah. the Black Panther ones are just out for the Black Panther movie. Have you, what, have you, have and... you seen them saga ones? The um, saga I, ones. I oh, haven't. Saga ones. They're amazing. I will be cool. buying all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, because that was the thing when I was wandering through them all. Other than great, I don't know. I was kind of they they. They do. Rick doesn't really look like Rick. Is the, probably the problem I had. No, and that's I thought the thing I, we, we said that last time. The yeah, the cartoon, South Park ones. Cartoon eyes in, you know, yeah. a cartoon really kind of takes away what it look takes away its look. Yeah, spot on. I mean, yeah. I still I've got that Professor Chaos got me on my on my shelf, and um, yeah, I, every time I look at that, I think you were spot on. It reminds me of you just saying, "Don't get the South Park ones; they don't work as pops." And I look oh. at it, I think he's right. That one looks so cool. It's just a character. Um, but then I don't know if I'd want a Rick and Morty proper looking ones on my shelf. It does again. Mm. They, don't, they don't really suit ornaments. I think the South Park no. characters definitely do. Yeah. Um, but other than Saga, then <laughs> I'm hoping you'll just keep rattling off new ones. But other than Saga, I particularly want, um, I did say to my wife that I kind of want some DC ones like Batman and Superman because the, the only... Infinity War ones are cool. I'm looking at yeah, them now. Yeah. They're awesome, the Infinity Wars ones. Yeah. Might have to get a pile of them. There's a lot of them, believe it or not. <laughs> I bet they probably thought, like, this is going to be amazing. Let's go. Um, when, when they saw the cast for that, because they just have to stop production of everything else and start churning them out, wouldn't they? Exactly. Mm-hmm. I don't know whether I'd get away with Saga pop vinyls. Um, pretty good. They are pretty good. They look awesome, yeah. yeah they, do. they do. Lion Cat, Prince Robot. Oh, I wish you hadn't told me because I'm actually quite skint, but uh, does anyone want a kidney? Don't worry, the, the YouTube monies will start flowing within a few yeah, days. Any minute, any minute now. <laughs> I need to get to, what is it, 4,000 hours viewed and 1,000 yeah. subscribers. Yeah, exactly. Easy peasy. I'm at 107 at the moment, so I need 10 times the subscribers. And apparently my watch time is 15 minutes. How long does that take to update? A couple of days. It's usually a couple of days behind. <laughs> I was going to say, that means this, like, 200 and something views that the two videos have had between them, um, you've all watched for 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, that. I know Anna watched for 13 minutes, so at the moment it's 13 minutes Anna, two minutes the rest of you. Um, <laughs> but no, I know that I'll update. 
Uh, Comics then. I'm I'm busy looking at pop vinyls. Yeah. You carry on. Did, did I think he already said he didn't read any, didn't he? No, Sorry, no. I was going to say, did you see the announcement at the DC Black Label they're releasing? No. Which is going to be standalone books, not non-canonical books. They are they are going into, um, mm. which seems really cool. So it allows they're giving people. I think it's more like something like American Alien. And stuff like that, where they just where they can, where they're giving people writers like a a free reign to make a small series of set of issues and make a single story arc sort of thing, and 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 it not be can- canonical sort of thing, and it seems really cool. That is a really cool idea. I like what they're doing is with this, it. Is this kind of like because the All Star Batman is just when someone writes a Batman story? Yeah, the All Star Batman's. Uh, who was the All Star Batman cover? That's Snyder. Uh, yeah, that was, it's not always though, is it? I thought it. Am I thinking of the wrong thing? But I thought that was different people, different stories, different times. Um, I don't know. It was initially though, wasn't it, Kev? Mm. Scott Snyder carried on from the New Fifty Two into All Star Batman, didn't he? Yeah. And Tom King took over the DC Rebirth. I might be thinking of the wrong thing. Then I, might I don't know because I'm not. I don't kept up with it, but that's what it was initially. Because they, it, it, one minute it was stories, and then some, and I might again. I say I think I'm thinking the wrong because the one minute it was like following a set story, and then suddenly it was just loads of short stories. Like there was a poison ivy story um, that, and it was like Batman annual. was poisoned, and yeah, it, it was all this stuff. But it wasn't an annual; it was just it went on it for weeks, like, yeah. and then it split to a completely different story. And the art style was completely different each time. And um, and it, it might not—I would lose track of which ones I'm reading. But um, whichever Batman it was, I thought it might be like that because it looked—it felt like they were just farming it out to different writers and different arts artists and sort of thing, and people were just doing their own Batman-focused stories there I mean, while everything. Um, yeah. It does. It does say DC Black Label unites Superman, One Batman, All Star creators. Is that a different? I don't know. No, I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe that. Maybe you're right, um, Sheepdog. I don't know. I'm probably not. I'm often wrong, mate. So <laughs> I, actually, I don't know because I just know from the initial how it initially kicked off. All Star Batman was Scott Snyder carry, being allowed to carry on writing Batman, but not getting the 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 the, the rebirth gig because Tom King was doing it. That's about as much as I knew about it. But isn't Scott Snyder writes the um, Black Metal, Dark Metal, doesn't he? Yes, he did. He does, and doesn't he? So maybe that's he where wrote he all stopped the... doing it when he started doing the Dark Metal stuff then. He, because I, um, I didn't realise, like, the Owls and all that, they all feed into Dark Metal. Did he write all of them, or am I, again, the losing? Stuff. The Owl stuff was New 52, I think. Am I right, Kev? Sounds about right. But they um maybe that sounds about right. If it's New Fifty Two stuff, so yeah, Scott Scott, 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 Scott Snyder wrote that. What I'm yeah. saying is, Dark Metal is like the, the again. I never. I, this is how much I'm kind of mind blown with some of the new Batman stuff. Is that Satana explains to to Bruce that he's had his memory erased like five or six times. Um, people have been messing with him left, right, and centre, and he's trying to remember these things. But then I think he even gets his memory wiped after that conversation. It's all a bit mad, but he's starting to pick at the thread of his own life and memories and stuff. And then that's what's kicked off Dark Metal, um, which is why I was trying to read through it all and and yeah. unravel it myself. Yeah. But they re- they reference the core vowels, and it seems like each of these stories, at some point or another, he's been stabbed with a metal, and. Right. Then in the dark metal story, it's like they've they've stabbed him with the someone's someone's managed to interact him with the final metal. It's kicked off this whole demon called Barbatos. That's uh, the 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 bat demon from long. But you know, and there's like the bird tribe who were the hawk man and hawk woman and um, all these other tribes. And there's the bat tribe run by this demon, and it's all kind of. It's like Snyder's been writing it for way longer than perhaps it seemed was. It's all part of his master plan that's been, you know, it's all coming to a head. And I'm thinking, that, like, I, I, when I was reading all about it, I was thinking, this is quite mind blowing that you're doing this for a bloody long time and it is all tying together. 
Hmm. I do want to read that. It's good. It's very good. Yeah. Um, I, I, Wait, I, the trades. Every time, I mean, yeah, I wish I'd just left left it so I could know which bits were relevant and read them all later mm-hmm. on. I just keep, every time I go to try and read a bit, I end up going down a rabbit hole. I was trying to explain to my wife yesterday why I've got something like 25 comic books I've not read. Uh, like not even comic books, proper <laughs> proper full on bloody trades um, yeah. that I've not touched. They're just in a pile next to my bed. And I'm trying to explain to her it's because just too many Batman tangents. Um, <laughs> I'm just like, blame Batman. He's too busy. You know, when he's locked up or he's, he's, he's trapped in some hell dimension type thing and bloody... Green Arrow and Robin and Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn and and Mr. Terrific are all having their own mad stories all involved around where Batman is and what's going on with Batman. And then Superman and Wonder Woman have ended up being dragged into it. And it's like, how does she expect me to go and read a book about The Flash that's not even related to this when The Flash is off doing his own thing over there? It's, it's yeah, I'm fully <laughs> torn. Um Yeah. I could do with that fifth dimensional mis- mix of Pizzolik, where his name is just merging it all together in my head for do. I could do with that. I need to invent something where I can just run all the threads at once and just go, oh, I understand now. Oh. Tell you what else I've done. Well, you may have thrown upon this. <laughs> the, uh, the Action Comics 1 version's out in April somewhere, isn't it? I think is it lot. April? Is I thought we were further away than that. I think it's April-ish. I might be wrong. It's at, it's, at, it's mid to late April, I think. Um, um, but I've inadvertently pre-ordered it. How do you inadvertently pre-order something? Because <laughs> it came up in a Forbidden Planet thing, and I was like, I'd better get a rush on quick, so I inadvertently bought the £20 one. It's <laughs> all... Um... <laughs> I don't know why. It, was, it said only 1,500 made in worldwide. I went, well, I've got off one of them ones then, haven't I? You Why not? Goose. Of course you do. You got, well, there's only 1,500 in the world. That is, you get one of those ones. That's going to be worth something one day, surely. That's a good. It's a good shout. Um, a signed edition. It's got to be worth something. Oh, so, Pab, you're you're I a horrible want, man. Yeah, yeah, I I I was like, should I do this? Should I do this? Should I? Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. Oh, I bought it anyway. <laughs> signed by Jock. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it's signed by, but it's signed by someone. It's not, it's not the guy in the shop that's signing it. But <laughs> um, Is it yeah, the jock did... variant you got, or is it something else? Uh, yes, possibly. Has it got I a picture of Superman that. ripping his shirt open on the cover? Yes, yes. There yeah. are a lot of different yeah, prices. Of I'm very yeah. confused. Yeah, there's, there's loads of them. I didn't understand it, so I went for the one that seemed the most <sighs> not the most, yeah, the one. most expensive one. No, because there was one there for like twenty eight ninety nine. I was like, I don't know what that else that includes. Oh, so I, this so is ridiculous! Know. It says uh, this different variants. It says there's the Steve Rude nineteen thirties variant, the Michael Cho nineteen forties, the fifties, the sixties, the seventies, the eighties, yeah. the nineties, two thousands, plus a blank variant cover. Yeah, they do that. They do the blank <laughs> variant. You know why they do blank variants? It's because then they can take them to the artist and then have them draw a custom image on the front. Oh, that's genius. Oh, yeah. Okay, I take back my kind of scornful it, laugh. People do that. Anyway, yeah, people um, do that. I've seen that happen. Anyway, that might mm. not be the reason they do that, but I've seen that done many times on blank covers. They have artists do do a a depiction of Superman or whoever it is on the front cover of this book of a blank edition. I've seen people sell the like, service at, Comic-Con, funny enough, so I don't know yeah. why. But I've seen it will draw you your own cover. I just assumed that was for people who maybe had their own comic, um, you know, oh, I need the cover art doing. I'll just nip and pay this guy 50 quid on the spot to doodle one up for me. Mm. Um, if that's not what people are doing, then they're mad. people do both? Because <clears throat> being able to say, oh, I had uh, beans do my cover art for in the flesh. <laughs> this is the pork and beans variant. Um, if I'm um, you know, in this world, in my mind, you're a famous uh, comic artist. Yes. Um, you know, it'd probably sell a few more comics for people if you just happen to get the right comic artist on the right day, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's why you go to like these these comic cons, right? San Diego and what have you, where all these big comic uh, artists are. 
and then they get him to do it there and he did like uh, is it Jim is it Jim Lee I'm thinking of? Hmm. If you get him to do it, Jim Lee to do a a, 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 a a Batman cover for this whatever it is, mm-hmm. a blank cover, you, you are quids in that would, would be worth a fortune. Would you want him to draw like Superman on it or would you like would you, like draw me as Superman on my no, you would variant of... people probably would, but I mean, it wouldn't be uh, worth it too much if if you drew you were you were. Could you imagine? Uh, that's probably I'd draw myself. I'd put a little stick man of me on there. <laughs> Did you uh, also accidentally order the Infinity War life size prop replica of the Infinity Gauntlet for nine hundred eighty four pound ninety nine? Because you are sa- you are saving twenty percent. The RRP is one thousand two hundred twenty nine pounds ninety nine pence. No, because I that sent a jolt through me. Not that one, surely the grand one. No, have I? Yeah, I've got a paperweight that came in one of these these Marvel loot boxes yonks ago, but it's a it's a Infinity Gauntlet. I've paper. still got the Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity Gauntlet oven glove that was recalled. Oh, I still got. It. I found that down the back of me uh, <laughs> back of my radiator. I d- t- t- um, yeah, I've still got it. I kept it because you told me to keep it. I'm well, yeah. seeing how much they're worth now because, like you say, they were recalled. Yeah, uh, thirty five pound on eBay. Get out. Forty pounds on eBay. Wow. wow. Um, there you go. It's yeah, funny actually because people have put on it rare recall and stuff like that. Um, now it's probably not the time to strike. Surely once the film's out, it's the time. To strike. On the way up to the to the up, upcoming film, that knows that that's the time to be striking. I suppose the thing you've got to worry about as well is if if the film's trash, then the value of that. Bum. Plus, I need to wear it when I go and see the film. I'm going yes, to yeah. wear my wear my Infinity Oven Glove. That's a really good idea. Just <laughs> tell everyone I that that's what it was about. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen the reviews for Ready Player One? No. no. Apparently, it's absolute trash. I um, assumed it would be. Yeah, somebody did uh, quite a funny. Uh, this is the. Yeah, this is the rejected theme theme music I made for the film, and it's just this guy going, "Remember Star Wars? Remember ET? Remember?" And he's rhymed it all out. But oh, um, I've seen that, yeah. And he's just going. Doo, 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 doo. It made me laugh because I thought that's pretty much what I expected. Um, I've not read the book, uh, and I've got it. I, I, I got it twice for Christmas by mistake. Um, which my, my wife goes to me, "Yeah, I know. I bought you one, and then your dad got it free with something and gave it to you." And I'm like, "Well." You didn't tell me you bought it. The reason I didn't return it was because I didn't know who bought it for me and I didn't want to have the awkward conversation of going to someone and going, thanks for the gift you bought me. Can you return it? And then my wife's like, I told you I bought it and she hadn't told me. So It's a very good book. You should read it. I'll probably read it twice. Only read, probably only read one of them. I don't think mm. you need to read them both. Mm. Well, if uh, now I know you, you've already got it, I assume. Buy this copy off me, so I'm stuck with two. And the film's trash, so it's not going to be worth anything on Amazon to sell the book. Well, um, that ruined that. Hmm. Um, are anyway. we done with this podcast yet? We seem oh, to have been going on for hours. Um, let me just quickly give you a run, a run out of what I've read. I've only read one book, as a, is a custom for me to do now these days. Um, I've read volume two. It's volume two, yeah. Volume two of Deadly Class. Uh, splendid. Deadly Class is amazing. It is. It's so good, so so good, so to, so much to the point of like, I'm trying to read. I try, I only realistically read during my dinner breaks, um, and I try to read an, an issue a day. And I got to Thursday, and I was like, I yo, I literally flicked over to the next page to the next issue, and I I wanted to start reading again. I had to stop myself because I had to go back to work, and I was like, I I and I all the way home, I was thinking, I'm going to read the next issue now. As soon as I get in, I didn't. I'm glad I didn't because it was the last issue of the book and I won't have anything to read today. Um, yeah, it's so good. It's so, so good. It, it's, oh, this is, this is for me as good as Paper Girls, I want to say. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd accept that. It's very, very good. So cool. So cool. And I, I just, I, every time I go, I want to see what's next. I got to the end of this one, and I was like, I want to see what's next straight away. And oh, I, I, I feel myself getting deep down a hole like I did with Saga and <laughs> and um, Wicked and Divine and stuff like that. And oh, 
I, I love it. It's, well, the it's... thing with this is I'm pretty sure it's already ended. Oh, is I it? Think, I think Deadly Class has ended. Hold on, let me check. Let me... I'm not sure. And I, I know there's a lot of there's a lot of volumes. I went in the car bought two last week, and there was like another four in, after it after two. So yeah, there's like six volumes out, but I'm sure it's ended. I mean, that, um, that's relief for me. I can get to an end of ending of a story, and that's great. Yeah, it's there were only thirty four issues. It ended. Oh no, print release date ninth of May twenty eighteen. So it is still releasing. Um, I didn't realize that. I'm behind. Then I stopped reading when I got to the end of <laughs> volume <laughs> six. I guess this is as far right. as I got, and I assumed it was done. I don't know. It must have been five because volume six only came out in December. So I've got a whole volume to read plus some single issues. Oh, Stop wow. the podcast. I've got reading to do. On Comicsology, I also know it's Wicked and Divine was out this week as well, and I've yes, not read that. New ones. Goodness new ones, right? me. People need to be making me aware of these things. Yeah. It means another six months until the, ne- till the next uh, trade's out. Oh, six months, eight months. Hmm. We're going how, on towards Christmas time. How does Wicked and Divine release? Is that trade or...? No. Single issue. They, they, oh, like, they only do like six issue arcs. Do they care? Yeah, six issue arcs. So it'll be it'll be monthly for the next six months now. Then they'll release the trade. Then they'll do the final historical one. Then it'll be the final arc. Yeah. Mm. I'm excited for that one. Indeed. Right. I need to end this now because yes. I need to go to bed. I am tired. So. Um, Twitter is a thing. MGUK podcast. All a Lujo for old Kev. And I'm at RB6K. Anna's at Miss Lelujo and he's probably yeah. asleep. I'm at, uh, I'm, I know I said I'm at RB6K. I'm at Pab1986. <laughs> and we also have a Facebook group at facebook.com slash mature gamer podcast. Um, if anyone's been there in the last year, let us know because I, I know I haven't. <laughs> so who knows what's going on over there it could be full of porn like our old website um mm-hmm. if you're looking for something that's not full of porn then you should check out my website lelujo.fm which will then link you off towards my vlog and towards my football manager content they're both marvelous um we mentioned it at the start of the show i'm now youtubing instead of blogging um i've just updated sheepdog rights to say uh yeah bye um <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's all you've written. No, I've said that you know, click here, join me on YouTube. Thanks for reading. Um, but yeah, I don't even know how to direct people to this YouTube thing. I call the episode Sheepdog Says, but just find them on my Twitter. Um, uh, I think my well, my username on there is Sheepdog 6k. Um, which is when, when we're done, we'll, we'll sort you out with a custom URL and you can change the username anytime you. But I think now you've got 100 subscribers, you can do a custom URL. So you can have youtube.com slash sheepdog says potentially. Or so. I'm not saying that is what he's going to have, but you could potentially set up something like that. Hmm. Splendid. Um, and we're all, well, me and Sheepdog are at Birmingham Comic Con next weekend. So if you're there, we'll see you there. We will. Have a good week. Toodle pip, everybody. Thank you very much for listening. 